Again, we always want to make sure you have take-home things and you can make notes to yourself. So if you write the word dementia vertically, and I'll go slow enough so that you can make notes to yourself, the D is drugs, the E is emotional, and you can put next to it depression. The M is metabolic, and you heard him mention about the thyroid. Oh, I'm too fast? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm accustomed to my medical students who are fast typers. Uh, so D is drugs, E is emotional, parenthesis depression. M is metabolic. And the example that Dr. Heilman gave was thyroid uh, deficiency. Then the second E is eyes and ears. Think about how many people who don't hear the questions that you're testing them on or can't read the information and they give you wrong answers. So that's the second E. Then the N is nutritional, which is why we're blessed to have a food expert and dietary expert because it could be not enough of those essential things that the body needs, specifically vitamins, and he gave you those examples. Then, so we're up to T, right? The T could be a tumor, or it could be trauma. T tumor like cancer. Uh, trauma would be like a hit to the head, and we're very concerned about which, which group of people we worry about head trauma. Athletes, specifically football players, and there have been lots of reports in the newspaper, boxers, okay? And the, the research that's going on now at Boston University uh, and the VA is an entity called CTE, Chronic Traumatic Encephalopathy. And the lead pathologist is a lady, uh, she's a Packers fan, so you can understand she loves football. Her name is Anne McKee. Um, and she has a group where uh, people are making arrangements to have their brains sent to her lab when they don't need it anymore. And they've been, no, no, they're, they're, they're football players who are trying to get this resolved. You know, so they're brave enough to make that part of their will. And I think that's a, that's a good thing. The I is infections, and Dr. Heilman mentioned several of them. The other thing to add to the I is something called intoxication. If you have too much of certain things, it can be harmful to how the brain works. The A can be either atherosclerosis, which is hardening of the arteries, etc., or it could be problems with how the body fights itself, it's called autoimmune, or it could be Alzheimer's. So that, oh sure, so uh, atherosclerosis, then autoimmune, and then Alzheimer's. And so the, 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 the key is, if you're an advocate for a senior, you not only want to know did your family member fit into one of those four buckets, but if the doctor says, I think your family member has, has a dementia, then that person has to give you a better, more detailed explanation as to what kind of dementia, because they're different kinds. Alzheimer's is only one of those dementias. Stroke-related dementia is only one of those under atherosclerosis or arteriosclerosis, which is the new hot research area uh, now. And so we want you to be armed with this kind of information so that when you're with the doctor, you're trying to push them on whether, how are they subsetting your your uh, family member. The other thing in lots of things that you read is they talk about treatable or untreatable. They talk about reversible or irreversible causes of dementia. If you go back to your list, star the first two. 
star drugs and star emotional slash depression. Those are the only two that if identified will reverse. You stop the drug and you treat the depression and or treat the depression. The rest of things you may be able to arrest, you may be able to you know, stop the progression. Um, under the end, some, some of my students put in an entity called normal pressure hydrocephalus where there's too much water on the brain and that can be fixed in some people with a shunt. But, but the point is, do not let your physician tell you, oh, it's dementia and it must be Alzheimer's. Please do not accept that. They must tell you what tests they did to exclude all the other things that Dr. Heilman uh, mentioned. They must do imaging. They must do a certain number of blood tests. They must get a dietary history as to what's going on. Absolutely. And if the doctor says also, well, they're just getting older and these things happen, you should uh, run, not walk to the nearest second appeal. No, no, you, you, you tell the doctor that they heard in the staying sharp session that memory loss is never normal. I'll repeat that. Memory loss is never normal. We do not accept seniors with memory loss as, quote, normal aging. That is just not true. And I think in the Staying Sharp book, it's, it's called a myth, okay? It's like, you know, men being stronger than women. That's a myth. Nobody picked up on that, okay. <laughs> yeah.